Our focus as far as air quality in the national capital continues to be in the very poor category, remember, with the AQI at 340 today, which is likely to worsen around Diwali. Now, amid the ongoing blame game between the AAP and BJP over Delhi's pollution crisis, Lieutenant Governor VK Saxena wrote to Chief Minister Aati, she criticizing her for offering no solutions to the pollution problem. He wrote, road dust is the largest contributor to air pollution and suggested that it would be appropriate if AAP first sets their house in order before blaming others or asking for their help. He asserted that the current situation in Delhi is completely avoidable and the solutions lie in our own hands. He also mentioned having raised this issue with former CM Arvind Kejriwal several times, but hitting back at the Lieutenant Governor, the AAP said that Delhi is the only state where a summer and winter action plan and targeted efforts against pollution are implemented. The party claimed as a result pollution in Delhi has dropped by over 31% and this year Delhi is breathing the cleanest air in the last decade. Um, on the other hand, my colleague Sneha Koshi spoke with Midanta's doctor Naresh Taran on peaking pollution and its scathing impact. Let's listen in. 33,000 deaths due to pollution, of which at least 12,000 are in Delhi alone, Dr. Naresh Trehan. What do you make out of this? Yeah, so you see, it's not a surprise because if we, many years ago, we documented the difference between the lungs of people who are living in cities like Delhi and people who are living in in Himachal or Uttarakhand mm. and the mountains where the air is much cleaner, uh, I see them every day in the operating room. And you can actually, it's become such a, a right. standard fare that we can tell just by looking at the lungs where, uh, that they are city dwellers where pollution mm. levels are high because they, the, their lungs have streaks of charcoal, gray lungs, as compared to the pink baby-type lungs in, in people who live in mountains and cleaner air. So we are actually, it's not, it's not a theoretical mm. thing. It's a practical problem that we are actually seeing the damage being done on a daily basis. So people who are exposed to it, especially people who have pre-existing -con conditions like lung problems, especially the elderly and young children are the worst victims of it. So kids play out in the field. Now, the only thing that you can you can uh, help people with is the idea that during the day when the sun is out in full blaze, the air gets heated and it rises. So the pollution level does come down in the middle of the day. And then again, as the sun sets, uh, the, the air cools down and it starts descending back on earth and then it gets trapped here so that's why we we always say especially to the elderly that do not go out in the early hours or late hours of the evening do always if you are if you're going to go out do it in the middle of the day children should not be playing outside very early or or late in the evening because the air quality keeps dropping Mm. So that's why I think it's important for people to be aware of the fact that children who are already suffering from any respiratory disease like asthma and all should wear masks during this period if they are going to be exposed outside. People, people who can get access right. In to fact, Dr. Nare air purifiers, of course, helps. What must one do now that the pollution is only going to peak it's already crossed 400 aqi in some places what must one do in this festive season that is your left to protecting yourself and your children and your family so one stay indoors in after dark during the day when the sun is out and the air is a little better, that's the time you could open your windows in case you need to ventilate your home and if you have to go out. People who have already pre-existing conditions like asthma, chronic lung disease, which we call ILD, they should wear a mask and protect themselves because we during COVID, we all masked and we got used to it. 
And I think those people and young children, if they are going to be playing outside when the air quality is poor, they should also wear masks because it's, uh, the ones, especially the ones who already have irritable lungs. So what this does is one, the the PM like two one ten, these all these uh, particulate matters, they actually accumulate inside your lungs, and then irritate it, and some of them even cross the the barrier into the blood. But more importantly, it's the noxious gases like SO two and N two O, which actually Hmm. Do do tra uh, uh, transfer from the airs in the lung to the to blood, and it affects the neurological status of children who are whose brain is developing. So that's a very very serious matter. The other thing is hmm. that people who are prone to high blood pressure, they start getting the exacerbation of their blood pressure. So you will see people getting blood high blood pressures. Also, even normal people will start getting headaches. So there are there are multiple symptoms and multiple uh, toxicities that get into the body.